Hi everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. So today we're going to do a 20 week update and we're also going to do the gender reveal. So, so far uh, the pregnancy has been really good. I stopped puking, everything is more mellow, more chill. I have been feeling the baby kick lately and we have had a few sad news. Sad news being that I'm very high risk for having a miscarriage. The reason the doctors believe this is because with my last son, I had him as a premature baby and they believe that this baby can be premature too. So, so far with all the ultrasounds and everything that they've been checking on me, the baby's okay, everything's fine, but every week I have to go to the doctor and I have to get a shot. It's called a McKenna shot and it goes, it used to go on my bum, but now it goes on my arm. Uh, if anyone has ever had this shot, they would tell you it is the worst thing ever. It burns, it makes your arm like very sore, and it gets all like weird and bumpy. You get like a really big bump, but obviously it's totally worth it as long as the baby is okay. Uh, I heard a lot of success stories about it, so I'm very optimistic about this shot. I'm just very nervous. And I really do hope that it does work with us. You know, I really want to meet our beautiful little baby when it's full term. Okay, so now what you've all been waiting for, uh, what's the gender of the baby? Uh, I'm going to tell you the story of how we found out. We didn't record it because we wanted it to be a kind of a private moment. Not only that, but even if we wanted to, at the hospital that we go to, they don't let us record. So we're really sorry about that. But we do have pictures uh, towards the end of the video. I will show you guys pictures of our beautiful baby. Uh, okay, so pretty much uh, today is Thursday, June 21st. It was last Friday that we ended up going to our ultrasound. It was my 20 week ultrasound and they wanted to make sure the baby's fine and we also want to find out the gender of the baby. Uh, as soon as I had my, my doctor check me, he's like, what do you think it is? And in my head, I was like, oh, I think it's a boy. And it's something that I always thought that I was just going to have all boys, especially with my husband's side of the family. It's all boys. So uh, next thing you know, the doctor checks me and he's like, well, guess what? There's an 80% chance that you're having a baby girl. And I was like, what? And he's like, yes. So they checked the rest of the baby's body to make sure, you know, the organs are functioning right. That they have the right amount of toes and fingers and, you know, all those cute little things. And then he's like, let me go check and make sure to see what it really is. So, you know, they zoom in and make sure, especially because they're so tiny. So they really, really got to zoom in. And they told us that we are officially having a little baby girl. Um, my husband started crying. He had to run out and vomit. He got really, really emotional, especially because we didn't imagine in a million years that we were gonna have a baby girl. Like it was already set in our minds that we were having a boy for some reason, but knowing that we're having a girl is like the best news ever i am very excited especially because after this baby i'm gonna have to stop having babies for a while especially because i'm high risk for having a miscarriage so it, it is amazing i can't describe it in words you guys i am very very excited and i'm very very happy that we're gonna have a baby girl we even got her these little 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 tiny bows already we're already getting started with this we're very excited as you can tell choosing a name it's really one of the hardest parts about having a baby girl especially because there's so many names for baby girls so many beautiful unique names but we want the best one for our little baby girl so if you guys have any suggestions just leave it down in the comments uh we're really <laughs> have no idea what we're gonna name her I have my heart set on this one name, uh, but everyone's like, no, it sounds ugly. And I'm like, no, but I like it. I'm weird with names. I, I, I'm very weird with names, if you really know me. <laughs> so the name is Amelia. Uh, it'll be Amelia Marie Andrade. 
that's the name that I am like really trying to push and see if my husband really wants to name her that too. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much uh, the video. Uh, right now I'm going to show you guys a few pictures of the ultrasounds. Warning, it's very cute. Also, the doctor told us that she's very cheeky. So like she has like really, really big cheeks and a really, really tiny nose. So it sounds like this baby's gonna be really big. Uh, Junior, when I had him, he wasn't that big. He was actually just 6.3 um, pounds. And he was really, really tiny, especially because he was a preemie. So if I do have this baby full term, it's gonna be a really, really big baby, especially with how I'm eating right now, you know, a lot. <laughs> it's gonna be a really big baby. Also, I feel that I want to show off my belly, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoy. So, this is my belly at 20 weeks. And it looks very, very different from my son's belly. Uh, my son's was just straight like this, but this one's more rounder. It's like more wider. If, um, if you can see. And it's getting really big, really soon. So yeah, she's a big girl. She's a really, really big girl. Big, beautiful, healthy girl. So here are the photos I promised you guys of our sweet little baby girl. And we're gonna start right here. So this one is supposed to be the lips and nose. So you can see the little nose right here and the lips right there. So cute. And this one is of the baby's heart. Here. This one is confirming that um, she is in fact a little baby girl. Uh, the doctor was nice enough to write in Spanish, that way my family members <laughs> could understand it and have a copy too. That was really cute. Then this one, I believe this one's the legs, I'm not sure. <laughs> but I think it looks like the legs is all long, so it might be the legs. And then this one is another profile. This little baby right here. And the other picture, I we took one more, but that's the one that we used in order to make the um, gender reveal um, announcement to announce that we were having a girl. And I'll show you guys the picture right now.